Good morning. I'm happy to present NITAC of Somalia and share with you how things are going now in our country. And uh, NITAC team was nominated in April 3, 2023 by Federal Ministry of Health. And the team consists of five persons, the chair person, one microbiologist, <coughs> one civil society, and one from the Ministry of, and a Minister of Finance, and one from the Ministry of, uh, uh, from uh, uh, one for one microbiologist, one pediatrician, one from the Ministry of Finance, and one from the civil society. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. The first meeting was done through Zoom, uh, Zoom meeting because some of the team were not in the country. And that was when we were and We recommend uh, that time the meeting was only the, uh, the only meeting we did was that time by Zoom and it was during the and um, uh, accepting the recommendation for the rotavirus and the Yes, the vaccine, the vaccine immunization endorsement made by the National Immunization Technical Advisor. Only that time we did the meeting and of uh, night at Somalia, so far was in August 17, 2023. This happened when the ICC and NITAGE endorsed the introduction of rotavirus rot vaccine, BCV in Somalia which will end it for 2023. After that, only we met, two persons only met, and there was a lot of challenges for the night attack in Somalia. This is mainly related to access of data, need of training, not having administrative support, and scheduling meetings. Number one is the data challenges, the limited data resource access to diverse and comprehensive data set is crucial for making accurate recommendations. So the data resource was difficult for the team and uh, only the administrative data was available for them. And we know that there was no study available for us. And the data verification concerns was another problem. Gathering and using user data for the recommendations of the and false sensitive information. Some people may not use, uh, like, the, like the private sectors will not accept to give you data uh, and Gathering this data will, was uh, difficult also. Data quality issues, inaccurate data. Sometimes in Somalia, the administrative data is not accurate. And there, as I say, there is no uh, study data from the study site. And other, uh, other challenges was training challenges, such as computational resources development and training recommendations, models require significant computational resources, including 
high performance GBUS and storage capacity. You know, computer things are, uh, were very important for the data. The other thing is lack of administrative support, as mentioned by my colleagues who supported, uh, who presented before me. Without support from the organizational leadership, it can be difficult to secure the necessary budgets. Cross-functional collaboration, building effective recommendation systems often requires collaboration between multiple departments. Till now, only five persons were nominated from the, by the Minister of Health, and uh, we will expand in the future to add new partners such as WHO, UNICEF, and other NGOs to make things better. Cross-functional collaboration, building effective recommendation systems often requires collaboration between the multiple departments. Change management. Implementing recommendation system may require changes to existing process and workflows, and that's not easy. Another challenge is such as uh, scheduling meeting challenges. Coordination between the stakeholders, such as Minister of Health, WHO, and UNICEF, was, uh, was not there. Only the Minister of Health was having, you know, and, the, and what they nominated would have in, uh, they have only one time meeting, as I said before. Time constraints when meeting attendants are in, not in the same. You know, these people who were nominated for uh, NITAG are always work, are, were not always working in the same area. So it was difficult to find these people to make meetings. Some are maybe in the in abroad, some are maybe in the town. Other thing is that, you know, the work that they are doing were different. Maybe someone is, in another work, he cannot get that, uh, you cannot get that day to come for the meeting. Sometimes remote work, when you touch team members are not in the same location, it is difficult to gather for meeting. And it happened so many times. How workshop, this workshop and the participants can help NATAC? I think this is only for uh, 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 for uh, getting training uh, related to new touch and administrative supports. You know, the objective of the workshop of the, to, and the help of the national immunization technical uh, expecting to advocate for us related to the introduction of pneumococcal and conjugated vaccine. Not only this one, but in the future also, what we are going to do as recommendation is and other things that is uh, required for the uh, NITAC for Somalia. We are expecting so many things from this workshop to advocate for us, such as capacity building, enhanced, enhanced capacity building of NITAC members in, the, uh, in understanding the technical aspects of BCV and rotor affairs, including the safety, efficacy, and cost effectiveness. Support of new child will increase. Evidence review provide training on a systematic evidence review processes, including assessment of scientific literature and data, like what uh, our colleague from Niche mentioned, it, to ensure the recommendations are based on the best available evidence, data analysis, developing the skill of necessary for analyzing and interpreting local epidemiological data related to vaccine preventable diseases, such as pneumonia and retrovirus gastroenteritis. Risk benefit assessment, equip NITH, we are expecting NITH to be equipped with the tools and knowledge needed to conduct through risk benefit assessments for the introduction of BCV and retrovirus vaccines in, in our country. Cost effectiveness analysis. Train NITAG members in conducting cost effectiveness analysis to assess the economic implications 
of vaccine introduction and to prioritize vaccines within limited budgets. Stakeholder engagement facilitates facilitate discussions on stakeholder engagement and communication strategies to build consensus among health care professionals, policymakers, and the public. Ethical considerations, discuss ethical con uh, considerations surrounding vaccine introduction, such as equity, access, and informed consent. Recommendation development, guide night touch members in the development of evidence-based recommendations for the introduction of BCV rotavirus taking into account local epidemiological context. context. Monitoring and evaluation, define strategic for ongoing monitoring and evaluation of vaccine programs to ensure they meet their intended goals and continue to be effective. Documentation and reporting, provide guidance on documenting and reporting recommendations to relevant authorities and the public in a clear and transparent manner. <clears throat> Documentation and reporting, provide guidance on documenting and reporting recommendations to relevant authorities and to public in the declare in a clear and transparent man, man, manner. Implementation planning, assist in the development of an implementation plan, including vaccines like public gene logistics, training of healthy care workers, and public awareness campaigns. Policy advocacy, equip NITEC members with skills, advantages, adv adv advocate for their recommendations within the border health care policy framework. Feedback and mecha uh, feedback mechanisms. Establish mechanisms for NITAG members to receive feedback from health care professionals, patients, and public health public regarding vaccine introduction and performance. Continue in education, emphasize the importance of ongoing education and training to keep NITAG members updated in emerging evidence and vaccine related issues. I think I mentioned the challenges that we are having and uh, um, assistance that we are expecting from the different, maybe, you know, advocates from uh, your side and uh, getting all these recommendations and what we are requesting will help increase the capacity and do better recommendations in the future for Somali NITAC. Thank you very much.